Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. A while back, I picked up some samples, some foundation samples from Sephora. Thought I would share those with you guys as far as uh, which ones I liked, and which ones I didn't like. So, I did a video not too long ago uh, regarding the Yves Saint Laurent Tint Resist Foundation, the YSL Foundation, and how um, the only, the lightest color sold in the United States is the number two blonde, and it is not available in a one, which is the one is the shade I would need. It is far too yellow, far too dark for me. Um, so that is, you know, a bummer. It is apparently available in Europe, not in the United States. Okay. So that I wrote off. I want, I, I did wear it as funny as I looked with a um, shade darker on. I did wear it. I wore it to work, uh, I believe two or three days in a row. And I loved it. I loved the formulation of it. It was really, really nice. So if you are darker than a, um, say, NC15 at MAC or an NW15 at MAC, have at the YSL. At least try it. Get a sample and try it. I really did like it. I liked it a lot. Um, it's not super, super full coverage, so it's not going to conceal everything that you might want to um, conceal. However, it is a great foundation. I just really did like it. So that's the YSL, spec uh, the YSL sample that I picked up. The other ones that I got are the Laura Mercier Silk Cream, the Tarte Amazonian Clay, and the Smashbox Studio Skin. I will start with the Laura Mercier Silk Cream. This is Cream Ivory, and this is another one that, uh, this is the only, the lightest shade Sephora has, Cream Ivory, and it is too dark for me. It is one shade too dark for me. I looked online, they do make a lighter version. I believe somebody also told me on that video. They do make a lighter version, one shade lighter. Um, it's not available at Sephora, Sephora does not sell it. I am not sure, I have not checked even to see if it's available at Neiman Marcus yet, but somebody told me that it was. So, you know, I would like to get a sample of that one. This one is the one that is too dark for me. It is a nice texture, it's kind of um, thick, very creamy. And here it is right here. You guys can see that, and you can see there how um, it is a little too, blend it out a little bit. Okay, so there's that, and it is just very, very nice. It really does create a very nice finish on your skin. And there it is, a little blended out. Um, and I liked it, and you know, it's another one of those that I really want to love, but it's not the right shade for me. So. Laura Cream for now, or no, Laura Cream, Laura Mercier for now, as far as um, their foundation is concerned, is a no-go for me um, until I can get a hold of the lighter shade. So there's that one. The next one is the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Fair. Now this is the lightest shade um, that Tarte makes, and this foundation is really different. It is super thick, not super thick, it's kind of moussey, but cream at the same time, so it is clay-like versus, you know, that's the name, Tarte Amazonian Clay. It is very clay-like. Here is the actual product, and then on the finger, you can see, there it is. I'm picking up way too much of these products. And when you put it on, there it is. It is a very nice texture. Um, it goes on really smooth, and like I said, a real clay-like feeling to it. And it is really, really pretty. It is the right shade for me. You can see how it's a little lighter than that one. Um, it is the right shade for me. It goes on really nice. You can see, there you go, where it disappears for the most part. The only problem I have with this is, even though it's Amazonian clay, it's supposed to adjust to your dryness or oiliness. The clay is smart, and it, it can you know self-adjust, depending on whether you're oil in certain areas, dry in certain areas, it plays with your skin texture, so, or plays off of it. Um, the only problem I have with it is it did roll off my nose rather fast. In other words, I'm very oily. It did not stay on my nose. It just kind of came off. Um, but it, you know, it is a great foundation otherwise. It's very, very, it's very pretty. It looks really even. It covers everything. It just did not stay on my skin, um, which I usually do have problems with when it comes to foundation because my nose and my forehead and right in here on my cheeks are extremely oily. So there is that one. Um, it is great, like I said, though, right here. The last one that I'm going to talk about is the Smashbox Studio Skin 1.1. I picked this up after my friend Teresa at Risa777 um, purchased it and loved it and raved about it for weeks. And 
every video she would make, I would ask her what she was wearing because I loved her skin and she would tell me that that's what it was. So I had already kind of this preconceived idea about it um, that I was just gonna like it and I really and truly did. I am shade 1.1, that is the lightest shade they make. I tend to be the lightest shade in any range. Here it is, it is a liquid. There's the color and then I will put it right here. It is a liquid and it is a 15 hour foundation and I absolutely love it. I love it so much that I purchased it full size. There it is right there and you will see how it just completely disappears into my skin. You guys see that? And where it disappears into, can you see? There you go, right here. Okay, can you see how um, a little shiny and not a little how shiny it is and how kind of radiant that skin looks right there it's right in here that is the see the clay is really flat kind of dry looking and then this one that is just the wrong shade for me period this one disappears and i absolutely adore it i can wear it morning to night it stays on my skin it stays you know nice and pretty i don't have to touch up by three o'clock in the afternoon which normally by 11 or 12, I'm having to powder because, you know, my nose is just so shiny and oily. By 3 o'clock in the afternoon, driving home from work or, you know, wherever I'm going about that day, in my mirror when I'm on the way home, you know, I do that. I pull the mirror down and I kind of examine everything. I don't see anything that I need to touch up. It is just that lovely of a foundation. It is so pretty. I am absolutely in love with it. It is long wear, like I said, 15 hours. Um, and it just leaves your skin a little dewy, a little, you know, really pretty, just kind of the soft focus effect that it gives. So that is what I purchased of those three foundations. The Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Foundation with SPF 10. And it says, life is your set, stay flawless for 15 hours with this photo shoot secret to picture perfect skin. Ultra long wearing formula with UVA, UVB, SPF 10. Blurs and perfection using light diffusing spheres and delivers natural looking buildable medium to full coverage while keeping skin hydrated and shine free all day. Sweat and humidity resistant, transfer proof and oil free. And I have to agree with every single one of those um, points. I think it does just a great job, you know? I mean, I would say yes, it does keep your skin hydrated in the areas that it needs to be hydrated. And you know, that's the crazy thing. If you have oily skin, you'll know what I'm talking about. When your skin is oily and you're so worried about keeping the oil at bay that you will dry your skin out um, and it will look horrible if that makes, you know, I mean, can you have oily skin and dry skin at the same time? You can. It happens. It's weird. I mean, it just is. This really and truly works against that. I absolutely, I'm in love. I'm in love. I'm in love. I like it. So that is what I purchased. It comes like this. It has a pump. Mine's messy. Sorry. Um, just like that. I actually, I got mine. You can get it at smash at smashbox.com or sephora.com. I got mine um, through Birchbox because you guys know I'm a Birchbox lover. I love Birchbox. Um, and I do my Birchbox every month and I go through and I rate my products and I get points for that. And every time I get high enough points, I will order something. And it's like, you know, for every 10 points, it's 10. No, for every 100 points, it's it's $10. Well, I had enough points to get this for free. I just used my points and ordered it. It's about 42, I think. Is it 42? Maybe just 40. It is, you know, a higher priced one. It's not it's not a $20, $30 foundation. It is, I believe, 40, 42 maybe. Well, I had my points and that's what I used to get it. So there you go. That is what I um, liked in regards to these three. The other samples that I picked up are MAC samples, and I will do a separate video on MAC foundations um, because they're their range, you know, the color is so kind of even across the range that it's hard to decide whether or not I like formulations um, because the color just matches. And if it matches, I'm like, well, I like it. Um, but there are some variations in formulations. So I will do a separate one on that. And this is not it. I'm still, you know, trying things out. Um, I have found something that I love and that I use every day and that I, you know, really and truly will rebuy it over and over again. But, you know, I still want to try everything. So if you guys have any more suggestions as to foundations that you think I need to try, put them down below. I would appreciate it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.